Oh, yeah. here and I'm with my dad and we are doing the uh, Falls Creek to Mount Hotham uh, Alpine Crossing. So we've just started, it's about 9.40. We arrived um, to Falls Creek um, just by the shuttle bus. Uh, it was snow dog transport he was really good uh, we stopped at Mount Beauty and had a coffee which was lovely and also got an apple scroll which is yummy we only eaten half of it though I think we're walking 14 k's today which is a pretty good amount and packs aren't too heavy so yeah it should be quite enjoyable <laughs> The aqueduct, oh yes, gorgeous. This is why we do our hiking, this is absolutely beautiful up here. Gorgeous. <laughs> our first break which consists of dad and shorts and we're having some water and we can see Falls Creek in the distance so everything's going very well we've done about four or five kilometers No, that's alright. I was hearing noises and I was looking around to see what was making the <laughs> Smile, you're on camera. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're about to hit the 7k mark and time is flying. We've done about two hours now and where I am is actually so beautiful right now is you can see the lake still we've walked around and yeah so we just went through some old trees and you just saw that on the GoPro probably and yeah it's going really well we're probably about just over halfway now of today's walk before we get to our first hut so it's all going pretty well <laughs>
Hut, uh, and we've set up our tents in the background, and it is currently really windy and cold. <laughs> uh, we're now going to go off and do the Wallace's Heritage Trail. So it's about four o'clock in the afternoon, I think it is. So all going very well, it's just super windy. Oh, toilet. Last night. Woo, we made it to Wallace's hut. I think I just checked and just made it back to the our tents. I must say it is really cold out here. Oh, I've got service. I'm just walking up from our tents and we just walked like two kilometers in my sturdy footwear um, to get water because the water here um, has run out. So that was great. I've got like 50 layers around my head, so looking very attractive. Um, so we had dinner at about 6.30, I think it was. I just relaxed, I think I'm probably like a 20 minute nap. 
and yeah it's um pretty cold up here and i'm pretty tired but i'm just gonna go for a little walk over here i think my dad's talking to a ranger or something so yeah um 8 22 i think i'm gonna have a good sleep tonight uh i think sunset's pretty soon but i can't really see anything because it's all pretty cloudy here so oh yeah day one has been pretty good <laughs> almost eight o'clock and last night was like super cold it was freezing and I didn't know why I was so cold I was like what have I done wrong have I done my sleeping runner wrong or something but guess what turns out everything's only three season for me and it's snowing it's um <laughs> snowing all night and so now um it's uh explains why I was super cold and but it's so gorgeous um and yes yeah, it, <laughs> it was so funny yesterday i was like oh i'd love to go hiking in the snow not actually expecting it to be today so <laughs> yes <laughs> So it's day two and it's just gone 10 o'clock and we have left our second, our first night camp spot and now we're off to Divin's hut. Um, it was so cold last night but um, it was a beautiful morning with the snow and we're still pretty cold. My toes are still freezing. That's all good. Uh, we're feeling pretty good now and yeah, we're just going to enjoy day two. Okie dokie, so we have made it to pole 333, which is significant because it is a junction. Uh, it is about 20 to 1 and we've walked about 8 k's. We have one stop at Cope Saddle Hut, which is a refuge, and that is just behind me. Woo! Uh, doing very well, we've got about 6 k's to go to Dibbon's Hut, and after this uh, from this junction we see the Basalt Temple and we go downhill and reach our campground for tonight. So yes, we're going to launch soon and everything is going very well. Okay, so we've done just over 11 k's and it is still freezing, but we're about to head downhill now into the valley. So it should be warming up. Right now we can see Mount Feathertop and a bit of Mount Hotham and it's really gorgeous. And yeah, we still haven't had lunch yet, but hopefully soon somewhere it's a bit warmer, we'll be eating. <laughs>
Hello everyone, it is about 6.30 and we have arrived at Dibbon's hut about three hours ago. We hopped in the lake for a bit, which was really nice. And we had lunch with a beautiful lookout at about 2.30 I think it was. And yeah, I had a 40 minute nap, which was so nice before I went down to the creek. And yeah, where we just washed off and uh, cooled our legs a bit. And then now I've been reading for a bit and we're about to have dinner, so yes. <laughs> morning so it's day three today and we're all packed up and well I'm all packed up and ready to go that's not far behind and it is about quarter to nine now and we're up bright and early compared to yesterday I was up today about seven which isn't too early for hiking but early enough for me I got almost 11 hours sleep last night which was really good I slept a lot better than the night before however it was still pretty cold but a bit warmer than the night before obviously uh so yeah tonight uh today we are hiking up that mountain behind me which should be fun it's only a short walk but uh it's just steep so that will be fun um yeah we had breakfast that was good it was beautiful being next to the creek and yeah um looking forward to today's adventure can't believe it's our last day already it's so short it's gone so quick <laughs> So update time, we uh, almost reached 2Ks I think of going up this steep mountain, which I'm finding pretty good. I must say I feel bad for daddy struggling a little bit, but it's amazing he's still getting through it. Um, yeah, it was really beautiful up here. Um, we can see like um, all the little basalt volcanic things from when they were volcanic times. And also you can see Mount Feathertop, so it's really good. It's just, yeah, it's a bit of a climb, but it's, I'm, I'm enjoying it which is really good and I was um I think I might have a bit of a snack now and yeah just have a little break for a couple of minutes and then we'll get going again <laughs> is it? Igneous rock yes mm -hmm. So time for a little update. We have made it to Derek Hut and 
that's just you going to the bathroom but we made it up the hill which was really good um it was quite warm and it was good because i've uh first time taking his jacket off while hiking on this trip which was really nice uh, but now we're currently sitting in the shade so it's cooled down a little bit and realized how actually it's not that hot yet today i don't think it's meant to be that hot anyway but um yeah so we're just having a little break here i think we've got about 5k's to go it's about 11 o'clock and I'm feeling all right. My legs are a bit tired, but everything's going pretty well. Um, Dad's tired, but um, yeah, we shouldn't be too much longer. I think we just mount lock and then pretty much the car park and then on our way home. So, hmm, it's been quite a good trip. <laughs> super well less than 4k's to go and we can see the car from where we are right now so and we can see Mount Hotham as well currently going uphill so I'm not sure I decided to film going up yeah but oh and I'm also wearing a raincoat in the sun but that's all right so yeah it's gonna be over before we know it because yeah about oh less than 4k's just got one little more hill to go over practically there <laughs> and that's a wrap we made it back to the car mm. did up about 45 kilometers so 